Welcome back to part two of Super Shells visiting the Cox Science Center. In part one, Super Shells, the Salty Bros, and McCoy learned a lot about alligators and got to explore the beautiful aquariums. But let's see what the Salty Bros get into next. When your mom says go to sleep, but you want to go to the beach, magic conch shells where you reach, you know what to yell, Super Shells. I just went over there and I saw something you guys aren't going to believe. It was a tornado. I promise. You want to go check it out? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, I got nobody. What? Okay, okay. No, okay, be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Keep going this way. There's a tornado. <gasps> Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Wow. Whoa, boy. <gasps> Oh, the beach cowboy. That's him, McCoy. The cowboy. Hey, hey, McCoy. McCoy. That's a weird guitar. Well, I don't know. Is it? What is this thing? Are you ready? Are you brave? Let me see your muscles. Oh yeah, you pass. Let me see yours. Your muscles. Oh yeah, you guys are strong enough. All right. See you later. It's gonna be cr pretty crazy. Hey guys, come here, I gotta show you something really funny. You won't believe this, come here, come on, come on. Last one's a, a rotten egg. You see this ball? Well, you know me, I'm Super Shells. That's why I wear a cape, I got superpowers. I'm gonna make this ball float in midair. You ready to see it? Ready? Can I get a Super Shells? How'd you do that? It's just what I do, McCoy. It's just what I do, McCoy. Oh, hey. Oh, hey! We fish you are here, but since you're not, we can still use your help. You want to know why? Because in every episode, there's a magical green conch shell. It kind of looks like this. Yeah, that's it. So be on the lookout, because it's coming real soon. Here at this beautiful place, we're learning so many things. And before you know it, sometimes things could shock you or, sh or scare you. What? That looks like the Salty Bros. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, come look. It's so funny. How do you do it? I guess you just do these things. Maybe a duck comes here and then you push him down. There he goes. After a fun exploration through the Hall of Discovery, the Cox Science Center had one more surprise for the Super Shells crew a lesson about colorful coral reefs. Hey, Miss Becca. Hi. I know you know a lot about alligators and all these fish over here, but do you know anything about the coral reef? Yes, I do. What well, do you want to know? I don't know anything about it, so yeah. I love to know everything. I know a lot about sharks, mm -hmm. but I don't really know much about the coral reef, so why is it so colorful? Well, it's colorful because it can photosynthesize. I think I know why it's colorful. You know why? Let me know. So the fish could be, um, um, so the little fish could be, ca um, camouflage from the, um, big fish that can eat them. Yeah, that could be part of it, but... There are lots of colorful fish in there. Yeah, uh, there are colorful fish that live on the reef because it helps them to blend in, and believe it or not, reefs really only make up 1% of our ocean, but at some point, over 25% of all marine life will either be born there, give birth there, go back there, 
and uh, all coral reefs actually produce oxygen. Again, we were talking about oxygen earlier. Take a deep breath in. Guess what? Most of that oxygen you're breathing right now is coming from the coral reefs that only make up 1% of the ocean, way more than all the trees and all the rainforests on land combined. And if we wipe out those reefs, we won't have that oxygen. So very important. And it's a very small part of our ocean, but it actually is keeping all the animals alive. It's keeping us alive, us humans alive. It's actually keeping the whole world in check. So these are all live corals, believe it or not. Like that one, I like to say he looks like a little volcano coral. I got mushroom corals, yeah. I got hammer corals, I have. Wow. But these are all live animals. Most people look at these and think, oh, these are cool plants. Yeah. Nope, these aren't plants, these are animals. And they are photosynthesizing and they are producing these beautiful colors through the algae that's inside of them and they're also creating oxygen. So super important. They're the hardest thing to keep alive in uh, an aquarium. Um, so you want to see a variety of animals on a reef. You want to see sharks, eels, fish, groupers, and plants, like, and animals like so, the coral. Another really important thing is if you touch coral, just the, the oil in your finger will kill that coral by touching it. Um, it takes thousands of years to grow coral. It's a very delicate process and it takes a really long time. So you also have to be really careful when you're out there snorkeling or scuba diving to make sure where your feet are going, where your dive gear is going. You don't want to be just hitting all the corals as you swim by it because that actually does a lot of damage to the coral reefs. We all can do our part to save coral reefs. It's kind of the basic stuff, guys. It's, it's what kind of sunscreen are you wearing? Um, it's basically how long is your shower in the morning? Do you recycle? Are you using cloth bags? It's not hard. Skip the straw at Wendy's. Little things actually make a huge difference. If we did that on a global concerted effort, like we could actually change the world. So I believe in this generation. I believe in these kids that they're going to make it better. Uh, and I believe we're going to save this ocean and turn it around. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So don't touch the coral. Don't touch the coral, yes. Do not touch the that coral. That would be unbereafable. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, it would. I did. Did, they, did they tell you I was a comedian? Yeah, no, they didn't, but I love it. <laughs> That's great. Well, we sure had a special day here at the Cox Science Center, but we couldn't close out the adventure without a song from our pal, McCoy the Beach Cowboy. What you got for us, McCoy? There's blues, red, yellow, and pink. Let's find the colors of the coral reef. There's blue, red, yellow, and pink. Let's find the colors of the coral reef. We got sea sponges, crabs and clams, starfish, oyster, fish, and fams. The anemone is pink. Can you say pink? Can you say pink? Sea sponges are orange. Can you say orange? Can you say orange? A little bit of crabs, they are red with their little bit of crabby arms. A little bit of crabs, they are red with their little bit of crabby arms. There's blue, red, yellow, and pink. Let's find the colors of the coral reef. There's blue, red, yellow, and pink. Let's find the colors of the coral reef. We're searching, we're searching for the black, black, black sea urchin. We're searching, we're searching for the urchin, urchin, urchin. You know what to yell, super shells.